How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I wanted to talk about my strategy for season two if I was uh, playing the game actively. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So as you can see here I have a lot of the core players. I have a very low budget squad right here and this is kind of what I would recommend at least for the time being. I don't really think uh, it's worth it to necessarily grind out some of these cards now along the way as you're playing the game right you might get some xp you might have already unlocked some of these players i do think it's actually pretty cool that sds has in fact added in some of these lower tier overall cards like bryce harper ronald acuna fernando tatis and then there's a couple other ones i i don't however like the fact that you have to unlock um, all of these wild card slots i think you should be able to at least have one for free and then unlock maybe a couple throughout the rest of the XP path. Um, just having a lot of Season 1 cards and not being able to unlock one until you play the game for about a day or so. I just don't necessarily agree with. But on the flip side, we do have this brand new Architect program. I think this Architect program is pretty cool, right? Unless you have the core Ronald Acuna, obviously that card's better. Um, but this one's not bad if you don't, if you have more of a no money spent budget team. At least they're given some of the lower overall cards. They also did this. Um, with some of the bosses, which I think is pretty cool as well, right? 91 overall cards, 95 overall cards, and then uh, the 99 overall boss at the end. You can get uh, this 89 overall Cat Nick Castellanos card. I think this card's pretty good as well. You're going to want to probably have these uh, season award cards, especially if you are a low-budget team or a no-money-spent squad. Um, but you can also play through this London series pack and get this Bryce Harper potentially right i think the only other way to get them is to buy them off the market but you do get a free pack there and then uh, of course uh, these 91 overall cards like i mentioned the only one that's really not any good at all is that roy holiday um, but the 95 roy holiday is at least somewhat better by the time you get him though he probably will be obsolete he probably will not be uh, usable just like a lot of these other cards right they will just be set one collectors i mean maybe you use that chipper jones off the bench until you get this 95 one um, but he just doesn't really hit lefties that well. And I guess lefties is definitely the meta right now. Left-handed pitchers um, usually excel in the game in general. Um, but then we also have some of these captains, right? Like we have some of the core captains. I would pr probably build my team um, with some of those hitting and pitching captains, even though you might not be able to activate them all. I still think they're somewhat viable. I would just use more of a low budget squad, at least until we get some better overall cards. Right, we have the season one cards. You're going to be able to use those in your wild card spots as you unlock those. Maybe just build your team with a bunch of, you know, lower overall core cards, or maybe if you have the live series collection done or some of those collections done, use some of those players for now. I just simply don't think these team affinities are worth it. It's not really worth it to play at the moment. You might as well just wait until there's better team affinity cards available. These cards will be collection cards but at the same time i don't think it's worth it to put the time in just to collect those cards you're going to get them just by playing the game eventually and then when there's better team affinities you should be able to unlock maybe two for one but that's really going to do it for this video thank you all for watching until next time peace out